The NAACP wants the federal government to take a close look at the Harnett County Sheriff's Office. CBS North Carolina reporter Nate Rogers joins us live with the latest details. Nate. Yeah, Reverend William Barber is calling for a Ferguson, Missouri-like investigation on the Harnett County Sheriff's Office. This comes just after attorneys here have identified at least a dozen cases in which they call our police corruption and injustice. The river of distrust in this county is as wide as the Cape Fear River. Mm -hmm. Barber joined at least 50 community leaders and victims' family members outside the Harnett County Courthouse earlier today. Barber said the county is dealing with a systemic problem and the Justice Department needs to come in and investigate the entire system. A gun and a badge. Mm -hmm. Investigatory powers. The ability to serve warrants and take family members out of their homes and the ability to be protected by the DA is too much power. Brandon Bethay's family also attended the rally. Bethay died inside the Harnett County Jail in March of 2011. His family believes he died after being tased. The detention officer involved was never charged. The entire incident was caught on surveillance video. It hurt that, that anybody would do that to anybody. This you would have the, the mindset to do something like that. Former Sheriff Larry Rollins resigned just one day before the DA announced he would look to indict a deputy with murder. The group also wants the current sheriff, Wayne Coates, to be held accountable. Major Coates has been a deputy here for 30 years. He's part of the problem. He's part of the cover-up. Now, we're aware of at least two cases in which the FBI is currently inve investigating involving the sheriff's office here. Um, last week, uh, last week, Wayne Coates sent a statement saying that they're looking into all allegations. They're also saying that they'll review their policies and procedures. Live in Hartnett County, I'm Nate Rogers, CBS North Carolina.